One of the primary points of contact between a rider and the motorcycle is the handlebars. This is where a minor variation can make a huge difference between the rider's comfort, control, and confidence. For instance, this is what Joey uses, and this is what Eli uses. Let's take a look at some of the differences. The original type of handlebars on mot motorcycles were a 7 8 steel handlebar, and what Renthal originally produced was a 7 8 aluminum handlebar. Over the years, then there's now become two more types of handlebar which we have in our range. Um, one is the fat bar. By having a larger diameter in the center where the handlebar clamps and tapering down allows you to put the material where you need it for the maximum strength. And the third bar is a twin wall handlebar. This bar has a cross brace and it also has a twin tube construction. Any kind of damage or anything to the outside tube can't propagate into the inside tube. Getting comfortable on the motorcycle is very much like the seat and steering wheel in your car. You want to get your handlebars in the correct position with your arms and your hands and you can feel comfortable and in control of the bike when you're riding it. Joey runs a 999 twin wall handlebar. What that does for him is it gives him the most positive feeling he can have from the tire to the ground. So all of that feedback back up into his hands is what he's looking for. If the rider's looking for more sort of comfort and a more forgiving ride, they'll probably look at the fat bar handlebar as their choice of bar. So there's four main areas that you can control in the shape of the handlebar. That's the overall width, the height at the ends, and then the back sweep of the handlebar, and also the up sweep of the handlebar. Of the 15 variations available to the rider, there can be quite a big range. Some can be quite low, very flat. Some can be quite high with a big sweep back. It doesn't always flow that the short rider has the low bar and the tall rider has the high one. It can also be down to factors like your arm span, where you ride with your elbow position, how you feel comfortable with your hands, you know, turned up, turned down. All those have a factor on which handlebar you choose.